Why, hello there, my fellow road trippers, Rodamon here. Thank you for tuning in to Project Zomboid King of Louisville, episode 57. Trailer Trip Part 1. So I'm going to poll you guys about what to do after I do one more museum heist. So this will be for November 18th. We have uh, go on a gas run. Um, go on a shooting spree. Visit the mall. Find a trailer for the truck. Set up a safe logging camp in Central Park. Uh, add a radish farm. Fix the truck. There's more fixes to be made other than the windshield. I could try to get it up to as close to 100% as possible. And uh, build a museum display area. A statue garden, if you will. So, there's the list. Uh, I'll give you five minutes to vote. And thank you for your suggestions. Cheers. Hmm. Add a coffee. Scab mechanic, what's your uh, what's your drink of choice? Favorite drink? And the same question goes to everybody. Anyone have a really unusual favorite drink? Because my preference of coffee is probably not that unusual. Zombie brain smoothie? Okay, yeah, that's pretty unusual. Are you responsible for uh, for COVID nineteen? Did you uh, drink zombie brain smoothie and? Well, I guess it's not a prion disease, but still. Rum and apple juice. Okay, that is strange. Never heard of that. Is there fishing in the game? Yes. In fact, I have a fishing shack built to the northeast that I keep forgetting to put on the map. For reasons unexplainable. Uh, why does it look like my generator is out of power? I mean, clearly I let it run dry, but I really thought I had a lot more time on it. Yeah, fuel zero. Shame. I should go check um, my freezers to see if uh, if things have. have uh, gone dry and unfrozen or whatever, spoiled. We'll see. Yeah, it was rather fast. And I don't think I'm powering up anything more than I was before. So I'm not really sure what was that, that was about. Seems very quick to me, because that was at 100% otherwise. Well, let's check the freezers. Uh, yeah, so it fully thawed, unfortunately. It does allow me to grab some ready-to-eat cabbage for my travels today. Louis likes his roughage. What can I say? If you run two generators, does it split the load? No, I don't even run two generators. I have one on, one off. So I can maintain generators without losing power. Um, I don't think the game accounts for like two generators running at the same time. Oh, you know what was going on? Why I crashed is I think I was like forced into uh, cruise control. Maybe. Which is weird because I'm not setting cruise control, but whatever.
I should em empty the sack of potatoes because you can't keep sacks of frozen potatoes. Uh, yeah, you can. I'm on November 17th and I still have sacks of potatoes. If what you just said was true, they would have rotted uh, months ago. Those are OG sacks of potatoes that I've kept frozen since day one. So they've been frozen for four months now or something. You said you can't open a sack? Yeah, but you can throw a microwave and open it. I don't see how it's an issue. You're finding solutions for problems that don't exist. Takes like five seconds to microwave a sack of potatoes. So I think these are all the zombies that, uh, oh, nice spikes, some, some hair gel. Uh, these are the zombies that, uh, probably heard the car honking, I'd imagine. And you guys want me to find a trailer for the truck. You know what's interesting is I've not found a trailer so far. I'm not even really sure where I would start looking for one, but i um, happy to go searching. That's fine by me. Just go to, like, high-volume parking lots or something. Or maybe down to the military checkpoint. That might have a, uh, that could have a, a high probability of a trailer. I think what I'll do is I'll have, uh, later today, I'll poll about the first place to check out for trailers. Whether you want me to go, like, the Giga Mall, um... Let me think about this real quick. I'll open up the map. So, high probability of trailers would typically be in these empty spaces, because these empty spaces are often parking lots. So, you've got, um... Even, like, right uh, here is, like, a rather large parking lot. Uh, but, yeah, any, anywhere with a really large parking lot will, could have trailers. I have searched a lot of the big parking lots up near the brewery, and I don't recall seeing, seeing a trailer that way. Um, there is a really large parking lot around the Grand, o, uh, the Grand Ohio Mall, which is over here in this area. So there's a... Um, a decent likelihood of, of trailers there. So I'm going to put blue circles here. And then there are parking lots here and here. And that's not too far from my current location. I mean, it's just a few blocks up. Uh, you've got also the parking lots of the baseball diamond. So that's um, these areas. You've got parking lots uh, around the depot. So that's these spots or the train station rather, and these are also train station parking lots. And then you have parking lots for the checkpoint, which is uh, a little around here. They're still, I'm going to say that they're in Louisville, even though they're kind of not, you know, because the maps revealed Louisville. So those are pro the, the high likelihood areas for, um, I guess, also the ho horse derby. There's a lot of parking lots over here too. So it will be checkpoint. Um, the Derby, the, uh, train station, the baseball diamond, the mall, and east. Those are the locations that I'll put in the poll later on. Oh, look at all you guys. Time to get busy. This machete has maybe 50-ish kills left on it before it goes poof. Oh, they're even filtering behind me.
I'm really fortunate that I've just continually found additional um, two-hand sharp weapons. I just keep finding them, which allows me to uh, to use two-hand blades without really worrying about running out of them. Those gentle little honks definitely pulled a few in. Milk Monarchy? That sounds like a place that Louis should be. That font is not easy to read, though. Look at that shin lunge from like 10 feet away. Overestimating your athleticism, I think. If zombies can even estimate. So I think what I'll do is, because uh, I don't have a lot of wall space back at home, I'm just going to steal the non-paintings, because I don't really have anywhere to put the paintings, but statues are no problem. I've got statue space, I've got lots and lots of floor space. They tightened up security? Yeah, I guess. Or maybe they're just in for the looting, right? It's like they heard that there was a break-in and everyone just came running. Trying to take advantage of the uh, the, the four-finger discount or five-finger discount. So there's some sort of graphical problem with those windows. Oh, you had a key to the place? Yes, please. Where I remove the glass, but it still looks like there's glass there. So don't worry, I'm not jumping through glass. Yeah, we found the... Oh, well, maybe he was a curator or something. What, am I, like, invisible all of a sudden? These zombies aren't even reacting to me. Hello, zombies. I'm here to steal your busts. Whoa, okay. All right, it's raining men. And my machete broke. Come on, just take your time. Not like you're in a zombie-infested uh, museum full of zombies falling from the sky. I'm going to quickly check this PZ map. I'm curious where they're falling from. There's some pretty cool art, like, on higher levels that I might want to get to. I actually don't understand where they're falling from, looking at the PZ map. It's a solid floor above me. They're falling from the ceiling, not falling from a floor above. As far as I could tell on the PZ map. So that's cool. We found a Minecraft style zombie spawner. 
The real question is, do I want the jewels? Um, they don't really display very much, but like, I'll take some. Maybe on top of the display case? Maybe. I like how this, this, this has junk. An empty jar! Well, I needed jars. <laughs> Come on. Line up for the aftermath, or afterlife. Uh, so let's, yeah, let's take the busts. I guess. After clearing out some of these side doors. And so I don't have to, um, jump through stupid broken windows again. I'm just gonna bust the door, the wall down. Oh, a fancy toilet? And nice tiles in the bathroom? Yeah, that's not a terrible idea. Do some uh, interior decorating while I'm here. I mean, I'm. it was a museum heist. It didn't, I, there was no specificity as to what I'm stealing. So. Works for me that I'm stealing uh, flooring. I don't have free... Okay. Go away. Just fall down. Thank you. I could grab my machete. But somehow the hammer is a little bit more satisfying at the moment. Busts are in. Oh, the machete repair failed. That's too bad. Looks like there's a lot of zombies around. I don't see that the toilets are fancier. They just look like toilets to me. Oh, it's a tour. Little tour group. Well, may I introduce you to your very friendly dozen, Louie. Who's here to deliver you whoop, to the aftermath? One of the museums next door is a uh, toilet on a pedestal, but you don't think I can plumb it? Yeah, I. I don't think you can plumb that one either. Um, otherwise, it'd be game to steal myself that kind of throne. But I'll take some of the flooring. It does look nicer. Ooh, look at you, fire axe in your spine. This was the crowd I was kind of expecting from me here. 
Not sure exactly who goes to museum during a zombie apocalypse, but you know. Price of admission was free. Uh, I can't take this flooring. It's not retrievable. So I'm trying to think of where I want to go to next. Maybe. Maybe upstairs, there's a piece of art that I want. And that will be enough for my heisting. Four pieces of art seems pretty, pretty reasonable for a, uh, for a loot run. Crowbar on you. Nice. Please be high HP. It is. Fantastic. Yeah, those toilets had the tanks in them. I'm good. If you guys really want me to grab it, just submit it as a uh, another goal, and I will. But I'm here for art. Nope. Oh, you evaded me twice. Okay. I don't want to come back here uh, in a few days. There's going to be a lot of rot. It's going to be one stinky museum. Sounds like there's a lot of zombies behind that door, too. So I'm not gonna want to be over this way so that when they bust, I don't get trapped. This machete is nearly done for. Oh, speaking of which. Tour's over, guys. May I introduce you to Japanese, medieval Japanese art in the form of machete, or uh, katana. Out of my way. Coming through. So I have two crowbars as backup. That's not bad. If, uh, if we need to go break this thing, too. I'd rather not break the katana, but, like, we'll see. So the art I wanted, uh, it might not be on this floor either, actually. It might be one more floor up. Yeah, it's it's one more floor up. I like, I like the sort of art upstairs. Out of my way. Uh Oh, this is like four pieces of art put together. I didn't realize that. Well, let's take a look around. See what else there is. Katana the Japanese people machete? <laughs> Now, 
this is art I can really relate to. Barrel. And, uh... Uh, that's not even... Registering as art. So, I'd have to take all six pieces to put it back together. Maybe I will. I'm just gonna pick my favorite. So this was the toilet you were referencing? We'll see if this toilet is plumbable. I don't think it is. I think it's an art piece and not plumbable. But, I will tell. And then there is, uh, of course, this gallery piece of uh, bed frame. Too heavy. The art piece I wanted was uh, up this way, if we can get there. I'm very encumbered now, so there's a bit of a problem with a safe I am, but we'll see. Oh, and now I am also exerted because of how heavy it is to carry this, this thing around. So I wanted this green one. So I'll try to take this green one and be on my way out. No, not destroy. Come on, guy. Nope. Uh, I can't. I can only stick the floor underneath it. Okay. I'm leaving you behind then. You are without physics. Copy that. Uh, maybe I can try to take the bed if I, uh, order my inventory nicely to reduce carry weight. But yeah, no, no, nothing like a, uh, a museum to have fake art. Real fake art. So if I want to take the bed, it's going to be really heavy. So the best thing I could probably do is to... Uh, prepare to leave effectively. And by that I mean out the window. Oh, I'm allowed to nail something there. We'll see. Sorry, lady. Gotta make you naked for good reason. And zombies below, don't pull the ladder down. And the bed heist. Louis has a very simple taste in art. The more pedestrian the art, the more attractive it is to him. It's a toilet and bed. That's his jam. It's going to be a few uh, a few trips to get the bed intact. And the gold. Well, yeah, I mean... It's not exactly pedestrian, but, but fair play. Cheers. Uh, let's put the sledgehammer in the trunk as well. That's going to help me out. The, the car's trunk is almost full, though. Uh, let's also put the... I'm going to try to empty myself out as much as I can to carry all the last pieces now, rather than have to do another trip. So. Eat all my cabbage. It's too bad there's not, like, stimulants that I can just consume. Wouldn't it be faster to move the truck to the rope? Um, maybe, but I think turning on the truck might attract a lot of attention, and I'm exerted and drowsy. So I'm not in a condition to fight very many zombies. Anymore. I 
I'd rather just make a quick escape. Let's grab primary. Okay, equip secondary. Equip primary and grab. There we go, all three pieces that remained. Also wouldn't want to trap the truck, yeah. It's, there's not a lot of maneuvering here. If you want me to go back for extra stuff, uh, again, channel points. But uh, it's 6 p.m., I'm exhausted. This is all I'm grabbing on this run. Thank you, car. Third time's a charm. I would say five pieces of art. Pretty good. Pretty good haul. And they're major pieces. They're not, you know, tiny little nothings. Good news is I could actually break in time this time. All right, I did say I was going to pull about where to look for the trailer, so let me bring up the map here and then type it all up. You guys to vote on. So we've got a uh, checkpoint. We've got the Derby um, train station. Giga Mall or uh, Ohio Mall. East parking lot. And what was the yellow building again? Hang on a second. I think that was the baseball diamond, yeah. Okay, you guys pick where you want me to look for a trailer tomorrow. So I think I'll set the gallery bed up um, down here. This will be my like art, art gallery area in the back half of this because I don't really have a better place to put my art gallery. Let's do the bed first. And then I can also check for the toilet's plumbing, but I'm pretty sure it doesn't plumb. That looks fancy. It's certainly unique. I'll put the busts on either side. If you're wondering, it's uh, it's show only. It doesn't have a sleeping sleeping quality. It's not even a it's not even a bed, as far as the game's concerned. That's also why I think the toilet isn't a toilet. It is just a, uh, just an art piece. It doesn't even have physics. For that matter, I don't think the, um, the toilet will have physics either. Yeah, that's actually a really big toilet. Yeah. 
There's there's not gonna be a way for me to plummet. I'm not gonna bother to try. But good heist. Definitely good heist. It looks like tomorrow I'm headed to the train station. So there's uh, two main parking lots at the train station. I can check both of them. I am uh, um, down to my backup weapons, so I'm going to want to switch off of that. I might go back to... Uh, I might actually go back to blunt weapons. Because I... Uh, I'll use the katana in a pinch as a backup weapon, but... No, I guess I, I'll just repair the machetes and hope that they take to repairs. But I'll bring the mint conditioning machete on me, because if I need a machete, I'm, or a katana rather, because if I need a katana, uh, I might as well have the best possible katana I have available to me. And not nickel and dime myself out of uh, survival. These repairs are pretty pathetic. And this is why leveling up uh, long blade is so difficult, is because uh, the only long blade weapons that you can get in the game is a machete and a katana, and katanas are super rare and can't be repaired, and machetes are somewhat rare and don't get repaired very well. So you're stuck not leveling up much. Okay, I'm going to want to ditch this axe if I have space for it. There we go. Well, that's annoying. Put this in my backpack and the game's like, oh, you don't have a, a watering can. I beg to differ. If the deads were to add more long blade weapons, what, uh, what do I think they should add? Uh, I, I don't. I mean, I think what the developers are trying to do is just to provide things that would be commonplace. So maybe like a brush axe, but one could argue that that's not a long blade, it's an axe. But I think typically, like if you went to Louisville in 1993, you're not going to find, I mean, honestly, you're not even going to find katanas. Not really. Um, but yeah, I would say a brush, a brush axe, which is kind of a polearm, kind of a spear, kind of a long blade. I think it's a long blade on a stick. You know, it's not that different than like a spear with a machete taped to the end. But like, you'd find brush axes and machetes, sure. A lawnmower blade would be cool. Um, yeah, for like metalworking. Um, for something to make out of metalworking. But yeah, probably those are the only two typical long blades that you would ever get. Maybe a fencing sword, but it would be more of like a thing, kind of like how you can technically fight with umbrellas and like hockey sticks. I could picture the game having a fencing sword, which would count as a long blade, but basically be a completely ineffective long blade. But a way for you to train long blade if you didn't want to waste your machetes and katanas. 
and you could find those in like sporting goods stores and, and the like. I could see that as like a thing. Maybe. A helicopter plane? <laughs> I mean, if you're... I don't think anyone's going to be capable of wielding that, though. I could also see them having, uh, like, a bastard sword or something like that that you could find in the museum. You know, a museum of uh, art, uh, arms and armor. You know, if there was a museum of arms and armor in Louisville, you could open up Pandora's box and introduce a whole lot of additional weird types of long blades. But, I, you know, they'd all be brittle and old and break quickly or something. Calvary Sabers over mantle uh, fireplaces? Yeah, I could see that. Maybe I should mark down on the map where I'm actually headed so you guys know. So I'm here. I should have done a gas. You know what? Maybe I'm going to turn around and grab my gas. Oh, I hate when the game does this. Honestly, I hate when the game does that. You bring up your map and it's like you put your pedal to the metal. And you completely just drive at max speed into walls just because you hit M to open your map button. It's obnoxious. I don't know why it does that. But let me let me grab my gas cans because I'm passing right by the gas station. I'm way down. Hey! Shed in the face. Don't touch me. I already knew windshield, so it doesn't really change much about the durability of this car, though. That brings me to Long Blade 4. Yep, that was level 4. You wouldn't mind joke weapons? I figure if you want stuff like that, just use mods. I don't think the game needs to have too much of that kind of stuff, because just if you want it, use mods, right? That's the whole point of the mod workshop. I think the base game should stay fairly true um, and not have too much zootiness. You know, like the occasional Spiffo doll is fine, but like having it be full of absurdity makes Project Zomboid look more like Fortnite, and I don't think the vast majority of game play players want that to be the case. Not at least in the base game. Not without the ability to just turn it off. Right? I don't want, like, the zombies to be dressed like it's Mardi Gras. Right? That would be immersion-breaking. So I guess I'm completely against anything that is very immersion breaking. And if you want it, have it in mods, because that's what mods are for.
It's one of the issues that I have with a lot of the mods that um, do sound really cool. There's a lot of mods that add more variety to the game, but it doesn't... Generally speaking, and I'll give you an example, but generally speaking, there's not a slider of frequency. So, for instance, if you wanted to be like, oh, it'd really be really cool to have, like, DeLoreans in Project Zomboid. And they wouldn't be immersion breaking. The problem is you add the mod and then you see DeLoreans everywhere. Which then is all of a sudden immersion breaking all over again because you there wouldn't it wouldn't be a one on every block that makes no sense. So that's one of the issues that a lot of the mods have is like, you know, you can add a mod that adds like tanks to the game, but then there's like a tank on every block and it becomes silly and becomes so commonplace. Or it can happen, I should say. Um where, you know, you add uh you add fire trucks and then there's like a fire truck every block and in Louisville, and you're like, well, uh, that doesn't make any sense. It's one of the, um, it's one of the places where I think Zomboid could do a better job of allowing mod makers to decide the frequency that their creation occurs. Got a tip for someone that dies every 15 minutes? Yeah, it's the same tip that everybody new asks me. Um, if you're new to Project Zomboid, do not treat it like a looter, just fight. Um, spawn in, find a weapon, fight. And get good at fighting until you can survive more than, you know, a few days. I, I When I watch uh, other people play Project Zomboid when they're new, they go around house to house collecting stuff they'll never eat or read. They read books for experience that they'll never gain. It's They're basically just wasting their time. Uh, Project Zomboid is an impossibly difficult game to play if all you ever do is loot because you'll never get good at actually shooting and killing with blades and blunt weapons and all that. So my advice to new players is to completely ignore the looting aspect of the game, uh, load in, possibly even load in with like a weapon, you know, use mods to give yourself like a crowbar or something like that, and just practice uh, combat. Because until you're good at combat, there's nothing else that you should even learn in the game. Because you won't live long enough to appreciate it. And that would be my advice. Treat it treat it just like a zombie killing game. Like you're playing uh, Dead Rising or something. And then once you get good at the killing part, where you can clear houses and go room to room and take on hordes and practice backpedaling and even use guns, um, then start treating it like a survival game. Where you collect items that you need for long-term survival and the like. Thank you for tuning in to Project Zomboid King of Louisville, which originally streamed live on Twitch, March 23rd. If you have any feedback or questions for me, let me know in the comments below. If you'd like to catch a live stream of mine, Rodomot.com has my stream schedule and countdown timers to upcoming streams. If you'd like to join my gaming community, Rodomot.com also has a link to Discord, as does the description of this video. Thank you so very much for watching, and a special thank you to my Patreon patrons, Twitch subscribers, and viewers like you that support the channel and made it all the way to the credits. Thank you so very much. Hope to catch a next episode or upcoming stream. Farewell, my fellow zombie slayers. <laughs>